the most beautiful woman in the world. Wu Zaishi, the consort of King Wu, Fuzhai. King Wu Fukai for 73 BC, the son of King Helio of Wu. When Fu Chai defeated the Yu army in Fu Chao southwest of Wu County, Jiangsu province, and broke through the capital of Yu, he refused to listen to Wu Zixi's advice of destroying the Yu. He allowed King Kujun of Yu to beg for peace. Zaishi was born in the village of Manglu, Juji, Zhejiang province, and with a beautiful face. One day, Fan Li walked in faith, not realizing that traveling to a place, the peaks of the competition, 10,000 ravines competing for the flow of clouds and water, surrounded by streams and mountains like a picture. Fen Li was in the middle of it as if he was in the land of the immortals. He couldn't help but feel relaxed and happy. Suddenly, he saw a clear stream with a thin and twisted flow coming back from the foot of the mountain. Looking along the stream were forests of peaches and plums, pines and cypresses. And amid the lush greenery, it seemed that the wood gate was hidden and the bamboo fence was faintly visible. Fan Li followed the foot of the mountain and advanced along the stream. Row about hundreds of steps, a fragrant wind blowing in their face. Fan Li smelled the aroma, greatly surprised that this gas-like orchid is not an orchid, which with the fragrance of fat and powder, the flavor of the aroma, never flowers. Being suspicious, I suddenly saw a woman in the streamside coon. This burst of aroma, it was the breeze over. This woman's eyes are like autumn water, looking forward to the pasture. Van Lee's heart and mouth all stay, secretly surprised. Do not want the world to have this beauty, Van Lee identified himself and explained the intention. Zaishi could not imagine that he was a weak girl in the countryside, but the country's future was so important, so he agreed. However, Fan Li and Zaishi developed subtle feelings for each other over time. Fan Li was in great pain when he thought Zaishi would be sacrificed to the King of Wu. He did not know how to face this day. At that time, Wu's king was getting increasingly happy, and he called on all the countries to rebuild the Gusu Terrace, asking for timber. Fan Li told Gu Jie, if you want to take over someone's heart, you must first cast your eyes on them. If Fu Chai builds a platform, he must get beautiful wood, and if the king picks good wood and serves it to Wu, the king of Wu will be pleased with me and not doubt me. The king of Yu followed the plan and sent over 200 tall trees to the king of Wu, who ordered the carpenters to carve and decorate the trees. He also sent more than 50 beautiful women, including Zaishi. The king of Wu was so pleased that he ordered the artisans to rebuild the Gusu Terrace. After the completion of the platform, magnificent, high enough to see 300 miles, wide enough to accommodate 6,000 people, carved beams and painted buildings on the platform, gold and jade of the decorations. Surrounded by all the planting of exotic flowers and grasses, livestock and rare birds and animals, but also to attract the Taihu Lake water around the platform in front of the through the boat to and from the left there is a perfume creek. The right there is a hundred flower island, the three autumns and nine summers, the scent of the flowers. The people work day and night, causing labor fatigue and the death of countless. Because of Gujin obedience, the King of Wu has been highly ordered to add the state of Yu east to Juyong, west to Radius Li, south to Gu Li, and north to the plains. All 800 miles of land in length and breadth belonged to the state of Yu. Fan Li and Zaishi were brought together because of the national tragedy, but they had to be separated for the sake of the national tragedy. Being the senior doctor of a country, he could not keep his beloved person. And he did not know when he could renew his old friendship, and he only had endless expectations. But when Fu Chai saw Zaishi, he thought she had descended from the gods and was intoxicated. Wu Zixu a minister of the state, advised him, I have heard that the sound of five tones makes the ears deaf and the color of five colors dazzles the eyes. Therefore, Jia was destroyed by Meishi, Dati killed Zhou, Baosi killed King Yu, and Li Ji defeated the Duke of Shan. Since ancient times, the loss of one's life and country has never been caused by a beautiful woman. Now, the king of Yu has brought in this beautiful woman in the hope that the king will be indulged in negligence in politics and bring about his defeat. Please don't accept this thing that will destroy your country. Fu Chai said, all people share the same desire for sex. The fact that Pu Jin was not afraid to use this beauty for himself, and that he accepted it is proof of his loyalty to the state of Wu.
So how could you suspect him of having other plans? Besides, Jia, Zhu, and Yuan were all dead kings. How can they be compared to me? As an official, how dare you insult me in front of the court? I will take this beauty and let you see if I'll lose my kingdom. From then on, the king of Wu was in the Gusu Terrace daily to indulge in music, with beautiful girls and singers lined up on the side of the seat. Shi Shu was the best among all the concubines regarding looks, singing and dancing. The king of Wu in Lingyan Mountain built the Zashi platform, open play flower pool, open pick incense bath, chiseled beacon well, built the pavilion WA Palace, with Zai Shi in these attractions day and night. Shi Shi demonic good charm, special room favor, in and out of the system, lavish in the consort. When spring was bright and sunny, Zai Shi led dozens of concubines before her, and the king of Wu followed her with Biu and Zai Si. They feasted in every pavilion, sang, and looked around at all the beautiful flowers. Fu Chai took the most colorful flower and put it in Zai Shi's hair. If you stand under 10,000 flowers all day and all night long, I don't know if the flowers look like you or you look like the flowers. Piu Tiu said, in my opinion, Zai Shi is much more beautiful than a flower. Fu Chai was so pleased that he rewarded him with wine. When summer came, the king of Wu sailed a light boat with musical instruments and enjoyed the lotus flowers with Zai Shi at the perfume stream. The concubines were allowed to pick lotus flowers naked in the stream. And Zai Shi and Fu Chai laughed and smiled with their palms pressed together. The music of the pianos and the songs were played repeatedly from the south of the city to the lake. But seeing a piece of silk sails, one after another, dazzled people. Later, people thought that the silk sails were magnificent. So they called a place they passed by and said, Silk Sails Jing. Suddenly, a gust of wind blew, and Shi Shi, who had drunk too much wine, went to explore the lotus with her hands and fell into the water. Fu Chai ordered his concubines to rescue her and personally helped her into the boat. Your drowning is like a flower falling into the water. Then he ordered Zai Shi to build alabaster stones in the perfume stream. For a few shang in circumference and drew a fresh spring into the stream, Zai Shi was allowed to take a bath in the spring, and after the bath, the powder marks were condensed, and the fragrance of the spring water was so strong that it did not dissipate for a long time, so the stream was also called Perfume Stream. The king of Wu favored Zai Shi, fearing that she was as delicate as a flower and could not be exposed to the wind and dew. So he built the Guan Wa Palace on Lingyan Mountain, with copper hooks and jade thresholds, decorated with jewels and jade, and encrusted with seven jewels which was a resting place for the beauty. In the high and clear fall season, they took Zai Shi to the Tuanma Palace, singing at dawn and night and enjoying the feast. In the morning, when Zai Shi wore her makeup, she would look into the pool as a mirror, and Fu Chai stood behind her, lifting her hair and applying makeup to her. Zai Shi said, with your delicate, reflected in the water, the water is also charming. Because of Zai Shi's behavior is flowing, walking when the sleeves fly, no different from a fairy. So the building of a corridor, empty of its floor, the following all with a large urn paved, covered with thick boards, above the carved pattern, applying color, or the Zai Shi strolling on it, steps clanking sound. Fu Chai listened to it as music, therefore, he called it the Hall of Sounding Shoes. In winter, they lived in the cave of Zai Shi in Lingyan Mountain. And every frosty morning and snowy night, Fu Zhai and Zai Shi wore fox furs and rode in the car to look for plum blossoms and only returned happily when they reached the rugged and dangerous place where the car and driver could not pass. Zai Shi often said that she had a heartache, and whenever she had an attack, she would hold her heart and knit her forehead, knitting her brows and crying, making her increasingly sad. Seeing her like this, Fu Chai thought that the dewy flower and the lotus flower could not be as beautiful as this. Therefore, the more Zai Shi's heartache, the more Fu Zhe's favor deepened. When the other concubines saw Zai Shi frowning in pain, the king of Wu felt even more compassionate and thought that the king laughed frowning in pain, so they followed his example, and all of them made the look of pain. Whenever the king of Wu's car drives back to the palace, all knit their brows and foray to hope for a favor, which know that the king of Wu saw them in this form, but felt ugly, said with a smile, Zai Shi Hate. Knit brows and forehead, there is a kind of pathetic state, you and so on the knitted brows, 
cannot get its 100%. I look at, the more I feel bad. The so-called Zai Shi cup the heart, the Eastern Shi Shi effect, and more form of its ugly also. The concubines heard these words, everyone ashamed of themselves, silent and retreating. Later, the idiom of East Shi emulates the knitting brows came into being. The king of Wu favored Zai Shi to the point of no return. Shi Shi loved to eat fresh fish, and when the imperial kitchen brought in fish, Shi Shi didn't even want to lift her chopsticks because she didn't like them. The king of Wu ordered the construction of a fish farming city connected to Taihu Lake so that the water would come and go to maintain the freshness of the fish. Zai Shi also liked to eat ducks, which must be fit with spices mixed with rice and foot oil, and raised until they were so big that they tasted delicious. The king of Wu built a duck city to keep the ducks. Zai Shi also liked to eat tender chickens, and she always chose the fat, tender and white ones. So the king of Wu built a chicken farm to raise chickens for Zai Shi's consumption. Zai Shi loved to drink maiden wine, produced in Xioxing, Zhejiang province. And the king of Wu ordered the state of Yu to contribute the wine yearly for Zai Shi's use. The king of Wu ordered Yu to contribute yearly wine for Zai Shi's use. Unexpectedly, the wine had traveled a long way and had been submerged by the winds and waves in the river. And when it arrived at Wu, the altar was opened and the wine was cloudy making it unsuitable for a beauty to drink. The king of Wu then built a wine city and brewed wine for Zai Shi to drink, modeling the method of female chaste wine. To protect Zai Shi from the heat, the king of Wu mobilized 100,000 men to build a palace in Dongti. All the men of the country were sent to work in the palace. When there were not enough materials, he took down the existing houses of the people. In the beginning, when the people's houses were too cramped and the materials were insufficient, the temples were demolished to make way for them. Then they demolished the high buildings of the wealthy families, and finally, they demolished all the cheap houses of the small families. The people worked hard all day, but had no place to live. As a result, the country's people complained bitterly and resentfully. Their farming was abandoned, their looms were not heard of, and they died and were displaced. Since Fu Chai had Shishi, he should have been more concerned in dealing with political affairs throughout the year. He said, I am as happy as a fish in water with Zai Shi, and I would like to spend my whole life in a gentle land. Sometimes climb to the Gusu Terrace, Feast Pavilion WA Palace, sing and string, and forget to return. The so-called wine is not drunk. Everyone is drunk. Wu Zixi's warning, the Lord of Wu, wholly ignored. Zixi sighed alone and said, the end of Wu like the Chiyoju era, cannot die. So he claimed to be sick and stayed away. Later, Wu Zixu was given a golden sword by the King of Wu and ordered to kill himself because he had repeatedly disobeyed the King of Wu. The King of Yu also said that Yu had been suffering from disasters for many years. So he had to buy grain from Wu with silver money, which caused Wu's grain reserves to decrease sharply. Gu Jun then gave the grain to the poor people in the country, and the people all praised him. When Yu had a good harvest the following year, Gu Jun chose a millet with large grains and gave it to Wu after steaming. The king of Wu was touched and said, The king of Yu believes in people. Seeing that the grain was huge, he told Bi Quan, The land of Yu is fertile and the seeds are good, so you can give them to our people to grow. So the country used Yu corn, but because the seeds were steamed, there was no harvest in the fall and the people of Wu were starved. The people of Wu were starving. Fu Chai thought the land was different, but needed to learn that the corn had already been steamed. The King of Yu learned that Wu's strength had been exhausted, and his best troops were attacking Qi, so he took advantage of the situation, and attacked Wu's capital with 100,000 elite troops across the border. As Fu Jie was determined to avenge his shame, he had been training his soldiers and generals with Fan Li and Wen Qi for more than 10 years. Moreover, 30,000 people volunteered to go to the battlefield, and although there were only 150,000 soldiers, they were determined to avenge their country's death. So they fought one by one and won successive battles. On the other hand, King Fuchai of Wu had been a despot. The people were bitter, the soldiers were tired, and now that there was no harvest, the soldiers were hungry and tired and had no fighting spirit. The Yu soldiers were waiting for the enemy to fight and they were like tigers in the mountains, killing the Wu soldiers and disarming them. Fu Chai had no choice but to send his soldiers to the camp of Yu to surrender. However, 
King Gujun of Vietnam, having learned from his previous experience, refused to surrender. Bac Thi Yuo packed up his belongings and fled because the situation was not good. Knowing that the situation was over and he was alone, Fu Chai lifted his head to the sky and sighed long and hard, saying, If I don't kill Gujun, I will forget the revenge of the late king and become an unfilial son. I killed the loyal minister Wu Zixu. Now suicide is too late. Soon afterwards, he told the people around him, If I die and know it, what face will I have to see Zixu in the ground? I will make three more laminations to cover up my face. After that, he cut his own throat and died. The king of Yu destroyed Wu and avenged his ten years of revenge. However, the next day, Fan Li and Zaishi disappeared. It turned out that Fan Li and Zaishi had taken a flat boat and traveled to Taihu Lake together, and they were in love with each other and drifted away. From then on, they were incognito, swimming in the five lakes, living a free life with only the breeze on the river and the moon in the mountains. With the sound in their ears and the color in their eyes, concentrating on singing and following the music, and no longer bothering about the grudges and right and wrongs in the world. A long time later, a wealthy man in Shandong called Tao Zhu Gong appeared. He had 10,000 talents, a beautiful wife, Fen Li, and his wife, Zai Shi.